Hello everyone, LTS is back with another video and um, this video I will try to uh, check actually frequency response of uh, different modes on, on uh, some devices. Uh, so uh, let's stick it to that and uh, at first maybe let's set the levels, <coughs> correct ones. And I have prepared white noise uh, tape that was recorded on on uh, Sony TCK 950 ES, and uh, that white noise was recorded in uh, perfectly calibrated deck after service in minus 20 dB. So right now let's uh, just check not the Dolby levels, but I think let's grab. Uh, uh, zero view, no, not zero view, but uh, <coughs> zero dB tape, and let's set zero dB level. Okay, we have some inconsistency, but uh, this is due to potentiometer, I think. <coughs> okay, so let's set that zero on the right channel. Okay, so that would be zero. Good right now, then let's go to the scope mode and we can see that we have that frequency at the zero level. Good. So this is normal tape and on normal position. Good, right now let's um, check what do we have regarding that white noise <clears throat> on this tape and this is the frequency response of uh, this device what we can see that we have some roll off uh, from like about uh, 8 kilohertz yeah so this is uh, that actual frequency response of this device now we can turn on for example that low pass filter no, not low but uh, low frequencies increase and we actually see that those are increasing and and if we add a bit more then we see that wow <laughs> about about 20 dbs increasing in like 30 hertz range what about uh, uh, highs those are increasing a bit right over here we see that the bump and uh, increasing a bit more we see also bump right over here not on the lowest frequencies but actually grabbing also that uh, 100 100 hertz when the low frequencies are really low frequencies as we can see yeah so we have this kind of frequency response of uh, uh, from this device let's check another one okay now let's check another one and just look at that this one has not has but have i think a bit better frequency response Let's adjust a bit it. Okay, so somewhere I think around here, yeah. So this one has a bit better frequency response, but we still see the roll off uh, from about uh, eight eight kilohertz. Yeah, definitely from about eight kilohertz we see that roll off. Okay, what about other modes also? Low frequencies, super low frequencies, they are exceeding the same values. And uh, if we check, for example, but if we set parametric DSL to high, we see that we gain a bit more in that upper base section and again more. Of upper base, yeah. 
So that's it regarding this device. Let me grab another one and we will test it that too. And yes, the second device will be this one. I think you all want to want to know how this device plays. Yeah. So let me put in battery and we will check this one. Okay, maybe at first let's uh, set levels. Actually, it's not very necessary, but we can do this. Good, that's on, everything is on off positions. Good, let's start playback. And And we have to get that zero mark. Okay. I think somewhere around, not this place, but just a bit to increase maybe. Yeah, this would be good. Okay. And let's put in that white noise tape. And let's play it. And what do we get? What I don't understand. But we have some some difference between channels. Okay, let's try to increase this until we get twenty dB. Okay, so you can see it very clearly that uh, base roll off is huge actually, but we have more high frequencies. Okay, so we have this situation right now. Let's try to change uh, uh, that equalizer and we see that we gain a bit more low frequencies than even more of low frequencies and i think just a tiny bit of highs increased and uh, what about uh, pls what it is doing oh it it is rolling down those high frequencies a bit yeah pls and uh, bbe first and the second one I don't understand how it works, but uh, uh, when you're on the headphones, you can clearly see the difference, but uh, right over here, I do not see it. I see that uh, high frequency is a bit rolling down, but uh, but actually they it looks like they are increasing when, when you listen to the, to the music, you know. And this is pop equalizer and we basically also can see how it looks like and this should be flat one but we have a bit better high frequencies response as I can see but but we're still seeing that roll off from about 10 kilohertz yeah and we have about minus 5 dBs on 16 kilohertz so not not bad actually, not bad at all. Yeah. Okay. And let's grab another device. We test quite a few today of those. Let's check this one. A recent repair. Okay, let's set the flat and nothing, no other is on. And let's see, let's set to minus 20. And just look at that. This frequency response is even, 
even worse than <laughs> I've seen lots of devices, but it is, I think, the worst. Let's uh, try to increase those by using that, that now pop equalizer, now rock equalizer, and now jazz equalizer. I think jazz is the best one because we gain a bit back of those low frequencies because on flat. Now it is flat and it doesn't look very nice. Yeah. Okay, another device. Let's check what frequency response we got from this one. This is uh, Iowa HS uh, PL55 or PL555 European version. This one is Japanese version. Okay, let's set to tape to normal and DSL is off, Pos on off position, yeah? Good. And let's see what we will get right over here. Let's play and let's increase the volume. Wow, just look at that. This one I think has a bit, just a tiny bit, you know, difference between between uh, the channels about 1 dB but frequency response is uh, I think it's, it's something something the same or similar to PX30 or PX303 now let's try those uh, DSL modes so first one yeah it increases those low end frequencies too and high frequencies a bit or no just the low frequencies increasing but these devices i like uh, the most because of the they are compact and then uh, look at how low they can go regarding frequency response But yeah, DSL is also increasing a bit that uh, high frequencies, as you can see on the first position, we gain a bit high frequencies at, at 16 hertz, uh, 16 kilohertz, yeah? That's, that's not bad, quite not bad. I like these, those devices a lot, these ones. Okay, so let's maybe check another another one will be this one the jx50 and uh, of course those high frequency responses are tied to the azimuth and um, yes if if uh, azimuth is is off then those high frequencies also will be off let's rewind a bit Let's connect the phones and this will be a normal tape, Dolby off, DSL off, and let's play. Let's increase the volume. And what do we have? Let's check how it looks here. Yeah, so we see a bit difference and uh, between the channels but I think that's the potentiometer issue and high frequencies on this device is a bit better we see that uh, roll off we have from about I would say 14 kilohertz yeah and let's try to turn on that DSL and DSL on these devices I do not like very much because it increases just uh, that uh, 100 hertz frequency this is uh, and it, it's not preferable than, than to listen uh, how about 
BBE. This one is doing also some interesting stuff. Yeah, it's I, from what I can see, it just removes a bit high frequencies, but it should. But in the, in the real world, uh, when you listen to f uh, through the, the headphones, uh, you will hear the increasing of the high frequencies. So this frequency response is actually quite quite good for 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 uh, this kind of device too. So from all of these tests, uh, what what we see that. Uh, uh, actually, all of the devices are not very good calibrated to the potentiometer because uh, when I do calibration to the Dolby, ta Dolby tape, <clears throat> there is absolutely no difference between uh, between left and right channel. Uh, yeah, regarding that uh, uh, frequency response of, of, of the Dolby tape, so. Uh, the difference between between channels and in the and when we talk about the level that it is present after the Dolby chip so this will be some somewhere around the volume potentiometer and I, and I suspect that uh, volume potenti potentiometers on these uh, small devices are not uh, very good calibrated you know so that's why we see that uh, frequency response yeah and at last I have this device Let's see how it performs. This one also doesn't doesn't have that, you know, azimuth adjustment. But let's see how this one performs. Okay, so play, and let's increase the volume. Okay. Look at the frequency response of this one. <laughs> amazing, yeah? I would say amazing. Definitely. Yeah. Very nice frequency response from this one. And how flat it is. Let's check different equalizations. So we have low frequencies and high increasing train we have uh, low frequencies increase and a bit decrease those frequencies but look at that how flat it is this one looks looks very very nice good very neutral sound from this one should be so this is gonna be it regarding this experiment i hope you like that and we will do that experiment more and more in the future with uh, with uh, devices yeah okay so this is it regarding uh, this video i hope you like i hope you liked that uh, experiment so as always Please uh, consider supporting my channel. Also, please like, share and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.